Thanks for joining me on this Saturday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, of course, watching Carl. It's not really a classified system at this point. It's lost its steam, but still pressing in over some of the same areas that Julia impacted. So we're looking at uh, the areas of flash flooding. We could see about four inches of rain in spots, so watching out for some flash flooding in South Mexico. And you could see it here, how it's not very organized, but heavy rain here. Then we have a tropical wave marching across, just coming off of Columbia, watching our friends in some of the islands up toward Jamaica. Uh, the Cayman Islands and scattered showers and storms back through the Bahamas with an old front. As we swing back toward the eastern Caribbean, much uh, nicer shape. Things are looking good, albeit still on the hot side. Some scattered showers and storms near Trinidad and Tobago, Suriname over toward uh, Guyana. Then we swing back here. This is that tropical wave I'm watching. So Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, British uh, Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis, all looking good. But in our western tier, uh, this tropical wave is sliding by. So one to three inches of rain possible the next couple days anywhere from Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, or even Costa Rica, Panama, a better chance of some rainstorms, localized flooding in spots. We're not looking at a widespread thing, but this is a strong tropical wave that is sliding by, not organized though in nature, not expecting that to uh, develop. So for the next two days in Jamaica, our temperature is mainly running in the mid 80s, scattered showers and storms, 50-50 shot, scattered about some gusty winds to about 35 miles per hour or 25 knots. So monitoring that. And then as this tropical wave marches to the west back through Belize. Numbers still running in the 80s. About a 40% chance of scattered showers and storms. Otherwise, the mix of sun and clouds. Of course, we're staying on the uh, very warm side to hot side this time of year. All right, open waters of the Atlantic. This disturbance I was watching, not seeing any signs of development at this point. So elsewhere, we're in pretty good shape. I'm going to watch a couple of these tropical waves, one in here, a little disturbance here, and I'll monitor those over the next couple days. And you see it here. This is later on our Saturday, later today in this area, the western Caribbean, that better chance of rainstorms. Just what I was talking about. You see it here, the green shading, some of those yellows popping up. We flip over into tomorrow morning if you're headed out to church. Mainly quiet, a slight chance of one of those Sunday morning showers around. And then as the day goes on, things flaring up. Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize, and still that chance of scattered showers and storms. Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, parts of Cuba as we head into 2 o'clock on our Sunday with this disturbance here. Not as much in the Eastern Caribbean. This is Monday morning. Still seeing that better chance of rain in the Western Caribbean and scattered showers and storms. Venezuela, Colombia, and even over toward the ABC Islands, we'll have a chance of that as we get into Monday. Now, uh, we got about another month of the hurricane season. Usually November is very quiet, but as you know in the Caribbean, we still get these tropical waves that can lead to flooding, and that's what will be on top of for you, but we are well past uh, the peak season. I'll keep you posted on everything. Thank you for building this weather community for me. I hope you have a good rest of your Saturday.